Hey folks, Kathy here with Living Miracle Homestead. Just wanted to say, we're on the road. <laughs> He's acting crazy back there. He's been watching his uh, movies and stuff like that. And uh, we've just been trolling along. Down the road we go. And I thought I would uh, say, hey, hey, hey. Let you see pretty much, I mean, we've only been traveling about an hour and something now so we ain't got very far we still got uh five more hours to go so i'll bring you back later oh by the way i have seen tons and tons and tons of elderberries going down the road today so they're blooming everywhere y'all better be watching for them because they're gonna be putting off some fruit soon I'm sure Michael does not want blackberries, wild blackberries, where he's trying to grow grapes. <laughs> so, I don't know, but that's going to be full, full of blackberries. I'm going to have to tell the girls about that. It's going to be full and, and, and give some good berries, because it's got blooms all over it. I'm pretty sure this one's in the thistle family. But that sure is a beautiful head. <clears throat> so he does have some real nice gro grapes growing here. Hopefully they'll do something for him this year. Well, folks, I was just showing Lance wild onions in the ground right here. And they have massive blueberry bushes and blackberry bushes. I'll show you them. There's the wild onions right there. But over here, this whole thing is a massive blueberry and blackberry uh, bushes. And I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But, uh... I can hear the bees humming in here. They are doing their job. These are blackberries down here, but these are blueberries here. I was hoping that they would be ripe and ready whenever I got here, but I guess not. Oh man. I would have picked all these, all of these beauties. They're going to be loaded. And I'm going to tell you, that's what I'd be doing is picking blueberries and uh, making pies and cobblers and all kinds of things. So, see all them blackberries, all them white flowers. Our blackberry vines. That's another blueberry. See, it goes all the way out to about right there. Well, looks like I think this is a. I want to say that this is a pear tree. And, buddy, let me tell you, it is full, 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 full. Full of pears. Yep. So Lance has found himself a tree to climb. <laughs> and we picked Miss Deborah some flowers. That's a big old maple tree. You need help, buddy? Oh, there you go. You found a way, huh? Oh. It's definitely got some knots in that tree. Very interesting looking tree. <laughs> so this is some wild clover. 
nice to have around. You just back some nitrogen to the ground. Hey y'all, I want y'all to see this absolutely gorgeous mushroom. Yeah, Isn't that beautiful? When I get home, can I can um uh Okay, so right here I'm squatted down. You see how little this is. It's the same size as my finger, just about. Right behind me is a massive bunch of mushroom. Why are you both planting, Nana? Quiet, Lance. Nana's videoing. Check out these. These mushrooms are neat looking too. I don't know what they are yet. But look up here. These are old, and there's some down on the side here. The ants have really got to them. That looks like a brand new one popping out there. And while these dudes are about spent, I don't know what they are. You can see them down in here. Looks like they had a good, been a good harvest, but the piss ants that are biting me um are all over this but check this out there's more mushrooms there on that limb and some over there i'm going to go around there and check that one out these look like they might have been tur turkey of the woods or false turkey of the woods over on this side yep probably false turkey of the woods i don't know Anyways, that's on that side of it. And uh, I'm just looking around, seeing what I could see. And um, that's just the green stuff. I don't remember the name of it that grows wild on the trees. So they got uh, some more dead wood here. I don't know. I don't see anything around it. But they've got some stuff up here that I want to check. Ugh. I can't wait to get out into the woods. Now these limbs are uh, pecan limbs. I'm not seeing anything, any mushrooms around them. nice planks there uh, last year when we were here they decided to cut down that cedar tree and it's looking nice out there <laughs> so this little uh, piece of wood is over by the garden and it looks like some old turkey trails Anyways, they're spent. They're old, old. I believe they're turkey tails, but I can't tell because they're so old. It has been raining around here, but I'm not seeing much of nothing. Now, if this was my property, I'd been taking them limbs and making some uh, fence posts out of them. Burn them real good. Take the bark off of them and burn them real good. And make some fence posts, but I guess they're just going to let them compost down. Maybe they'll burn them, I don't know. But, kind of.
they have tons of blackberries here I wished I could pick, but it's the wrong time. They're all blooming, but no fruit yet. And I don't know if they'll pick them or not. Some folks don't want to get poked. I don't care if I get poked. I can always pull out the little spiny things. Little thorns that they put out. Not sure what this is. Anyways. I love just going and looking and seeing what I can see. Well, folks, I see the red birds. <laughs> I'm walking over here because I want to check out. Oh, there's a bumblebee. I want to check out this lumber. This is that uh, cedar tree that was had that stuff. And Michael is going to make Wilma a kitchen table out of this. His buddy makes furniture. And they're going to get together and make a table out of this. Isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cedar? Yeah, that's pretty lumber right there now. That is some pretty lumber. That makes a pretty table. I agree.